So um, I'm going to talk about the other part of this uh, of this task. Um, and because I'm the last presentation, I also inc included the uh, uh, Finnish sign uh, version of the of the, the the mark used to find. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is a good attack example also. Um, I've been doing this part together with, with Machik and, and Marta. Machik is uh, specialized in aesthetics. Um, and I'm, I have a background in computer science. So we're now investigating three views on what is image enhancement. Um, how can we consider improving images? Um, and we use the image enhancement for increased appeal. Uh, so first, um, I'll put the, it into perspective a little bit, then I'll present the three views which uh, we could take, and then I'll go to in into the further uh, future work. So basically, if you see the pixel privacy task, if I have to explain it, then uh, this is what we're aiming for on the long run. And uh, in the solution space, we are looking for, for these solutions. Juran uh, is looking here, and we can combine them later into... Uh, into a more advanced uh, combination. So the three views on uh, image enhancement that we considered. The uh, first is a controlled image uh, edit. So that's from the field of photo uh, photography, aesthetics. Uh, wh what do we already know from artists, which we can, what we can apply to uh, increase the image uh, appeal. For example, apply the rule of thirds, playing with color harmonies. So those are two things we tried. Um, Zoran also mentioned that there uh, is a system, Google NEMA, and there are more efforts to predict aesthetic ratings from images using neural approaches. So we go into that. And we also uh, performed a user sp study uh, amongst uh, computer vision people, people from photography, to see how they reacted to changes. Um, so our motivation to choose for certain um, image enhancement strategies was basically uh, starting here. So um, we changed the we only changed the color um, from from the hotel where the classes were. Well, it has an eight percent prediction for hotel and outdoor, and if you uh, shift the color harmony um, by changing the building to red. Um, it will predict with 21%, maybe 22 This is a fire escape. So this was one of the motivations that we thought uh, new changes could mislead a classifier. We see that in the top five, uh, if you do the top five accuracy, then it still predicts fire escape. Um, so it might be that more edits are necessary. So how do we do this? Um, the, the colors of the image are converted from RGB to HSV, which is closer to the human perception. And then we disregard the value and the saturation, and we only focus on the U, on the color. Or technically, if I'm not right, correct me. But, uh, um, and these, um, we analyze each image, and we find the dominant colors. Um, and the dominant colors, uh, we consider the colors that make up up to 75% of the image. And then uh, we try to assess which is the closest uh, color harmony. So as you might know, uh, there are different color harmonies. So if you have one color, then it's a monochromatic color harmony. If you have, or could be, if you have the two, then it, you can have a co uh, complementary one. For example, we sa uh, saw in the hotel building, we had a triad from green, blue, and red. And so you have multiple. And if we detected these harmonies, we would try to move uh, the colors a little bit more to the, to the center. So make it a more harmony in, in terms of these um, colors and it's an overall color harmony so you do it for the global image you could also do it for smaller parts of the image and we also considered com composition changes uh, so uh, we did two approaches in one we did it uh, forced so we had to apply the rule of uh, thirds to images uh, to make so the points of attention you want uh, on on these uh, areas and we did one where um, we did intuitive edits, so only applied it when it um, was considered by an expert or an artist uh, more improved. So this is the, the um, controlled edit. Furthermore, we have the machine learning aesthetics. 
Um, so Google NEMA is a uh, system that um, predicts aesthetic ratings and instead of predicting just the mean, it predicts a probability for scores from 1 to 10 and then uh, minimizes the earth movers distance or the Wasserstein metric, it's the same. Uh, and it does that for 250,000 images uh, from, the from the AVA data set. And you can use that um, prediction score or the, the trained model to improve, enhance the images. So if you do that for uh, s certain images, you see that they are going to look more dramatic. So these are used to, to, to tune the, the enhancement uh, parameters. What you also see, uh, which I think is interesting, is uh, if you look at the image below it, here we see if you let the model, the trained model, uh, predict on the ground truth, uh, predict on the uh, full set, and if you compare it to the ground truth, we see that um, that the um, model is far more conservative, and that's logical because we we encountered that multiple times. I think this workshop that if the model doesn't have the information not all the information or the right information, it's most feasible to predict just the mean and uh, be less conservative, of more conservative. So you see that the standard deviations and the mean scores for the ground route are, are wider. And I think this also uh, um, is the same point Marta was, was making from, from the other stance that um, so the model in the lo long run doesn't have all the information that the human has. And that's what we see from the machine learning pers uh, perspective too. And uh, finally, we did the user study, and uh, the computer. There were uh, experts uh, rating uh, ten enhanced images for both sets. Uh, so the intuitive approach and the, the forced approach. And we try to. So there's an effect where you, if you side do side by side comparisons, that your per uh, perception can be different than when you do an isolated experiment. So we try to make it more look like, for example, Instagram by uh, putting buttons be, uh, below the image where you don't actually see them side by side, but um, uh, you, you have to change it. Um, and uh, we saw, uh, we perceived the overall uh, somewhat lower quality ratings, um, a perce perceived change in focus wh um, while we cropped people uh, saw that the quality also would go down so uh, sometimes it uh, showed a, a lower focus and also a change in authenticity where people perceived some colors as fake for example coca-cola bottle being orange instead of red um, so what we now um, can conclude is um, that the controlled image edits um, um, they also might affect other aspects, or, um, uh, making that the uh, overall appeal goes down while the harmony is increased. Maybe the fakeness or the less authentic um, parts of the image will uh, decrease, so it's, uh, it's only a start. The machine learning approach is misinformation uh, to the model of uh, variance so to make the full prediction. Um, and um, uh, what we find interesting is that um, only changing the color and the composition can also influence perception of other uh, factors, so uh, for example, focus, which we didn't change. Um, and we think that if uh, we have more adaptive uh, appeal enhancements, so for example, personalized filters to uh, people's own taste, then uh, we can uh, improve the, the privacy in that sense that it's still difficult for the model to guess, but also an increased increased appeal for the person. So make uh, the filters dependent on the content of the image and on the person, and not just a standard filter, for example, the orange one we see, uh, saw in Marta's slides. Um, yeah, that was this 